We spent 2019 working, saving, and converting our van to live and travel in. We finished in December and started traveling around the state of Florida until the pandemic hit. After a few weeks of van life quarantine, we decided the best thing to do in this unusual situation was to take advantage of my grandma's vacant house in Alabama. In the last episode, we caught you up with how we're handling the pandemic and transitioning into house life. In this week's episode, we get a few visitors, take care of business, and pay our respects to some ancestors. Sorry, Grandma Sarah. So my parents are coming up to take care of some things. I'm so excited to see them. I haven't seen my dad since Christmas, and we're still gonna be social distancing, keeping our distance especially since they're all over 60. Yeah, we're just gonna spend time together and work on some things. Can't wait. I got an order from UPS. I'm so excited. It's just some shipping supplies, but I always get really excited anyway. Let's see what it looks like. These are some new envelopes that I ordered. These are the old ones. They're from Eco and Clothes, and they're made of 32% recycled content, and they can be reused again, and they can also be recycled at the grocery bag drop-offs. Um, they're really nice. I just wanted to try out the paper ones, so I can't wait to see how they look. All right, let's see what we got. So these are the labels, the shipping labels. So usually I was just printing the labels off on regular paper and cutting them out, but these have individual rectangles. So the labels are print like this and I can just peel them off and stick them on. It's going to save a lot of time. And these are zero waste liners. They're made from 100% recycled paper and they're recyclable. So they're eco-friendly. Yay! What else? And these are the mailers. Let's see. These are the large ones. They're paper. They're a little flimsy. Hopefully they hold up. They're a little thinner than I imagined, but hopefully that works out. It's 100% recycled paper and it's recyclable. And I think it's biodegradable too. So that's good. Even these liners are eco-friendly which is really nice and i got these little we care cards they were complimentary and i can put them with the orders it just lets everyone know that we care about the planet and these are the little ones so cute so those are gonna be perfect i think for the mask cool even this tape I ordered this tape from them. The tape is biodegradable. Like it's not actual plastic and it's really sticky and durable. It's amazing. They're here. This is my mom, Teresa, mother of three, retired school teacher, and the glue that holds the family together. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is on your face? This is my dad, Larry, father of four, grandfather of two, retired engineer from the railroad, and he can fix anything. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen Dad with a mustache. Oh, no, I forgot to show you this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mom told me how much she loves it. Yes. <laughs> she's, she's just all over me, man. Take <laughs> your brains out of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh, what are they building out here? Looks like a garden. <clears throat> oh. Be, be handy. Sneak over at night. <laughs> Pick the tomatoes. Yeah. My family loves well, Chick fil A. Yeah. I know that there's some gloves there close to the door if it's by me. There's Grandma. Hey, Grandma. And this is my Grandma Charlesy. Mother of three, grandmother of five, great grandmother of two. She is the sweetest little southern lady you will ever meet. Welcome to your house. <laughs> Welcome home to your home. There's your grandchild. <laughs> Sadie! Sadie! Hey Sadie! Hey Sadie! She don't She's like, who are these people in my house? He was just outside. And does my cat still go around here? He doesn't he yeah. doesn't go in between? Yeah. Yeah. He's, oh he's right there. He's asleep. He's, Oh, he's, he's right here asleep. Okay. Yeah. Oh. He sleeps in that pot. Oh, this here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, where? Oh, oh, he's up in the pot. He's half asleep. What are you, you doing in that pot, boy? Yeah. What are you doing in that pot? And well, I still I can show y'all the stages up through that. Still there, still in the ground. The garden. She's got her hat and her gloves. I'm going right out here. If I find my son, I got to get the glasses. Okay. You got a the little spider web coming across just on the the hat. No tell what's on it. <laughs> I think you got it. You can styling. What you about to do, Grandma? With your paint cans. I want to get some graffiti. I, see that ugly thing <laughs> on that, that red thing? So I'm going to put yeah. some paper on it. Spray paint the gas tank. Yeah, if I can get out here with it, I can get some. You want to be in sweet? Eat me, kitty. <laughs> flower pots. Do you like the flowers I planted? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sure Makes it look a lot better than yeah. when I found it. <clears throat> What's the story behind this skillet, this pot? Uh, all right, the guy that I said moved up, that right up here, she's, she's still alive and her daughter's up there living with us. Uh, they, moved, they, came, they came to Claxton, Georgia. They spent the night there. And, to help uh, you move. Here. Well, they just got to talking. He he was a he was a talker, and uh, your grandpa <laughs> Owens was too. And uh, they just got to talking, and Coy said, "Yeah, he just saw, he was just up for everything. He said he was a jo jolly jolly man." And uh, let's see, when did we start? Did they give you that? Yeah, we was up there at their head. They had a swimming pool at one time, <laughs> and I was kind of shocked, you know. But I guess they was, I don't know. I didn't do that. So it's not, it's not a family heirloom. It's, uh, it's a gift. And they, uh, they had a swimming pool, but I don't know. I need to get that close to them. Uh, but I'd, I'd pick vegetables. He'd say, I'll oh, get you some food over there. Yeah, and I don't know, one time he said, oh, Charles, he said, I got too much of this stuff around here. Oh, okay. I said, I said, what do you want? You know. So you like that pot? And I said, well. Yeah, and it looks then, old. well, then, oh, whoa, whoa, yeah, you get it, get you, you get out of there, buddy, because I'll swell up and yeah. move, oh, wee, wee, wee. Stay away from my grandma. Yeah, <clears throat> he's under there, and um, that thing started just getting little holes in it. Yeah, I guess it's so rusted, it just and, starting uh, to deteriorate. On and on and on and on, and then... I said, well, perfect thing. I'll just take it out there. And so help me. Well, it just, just quit, quit doing anything there. Hmm. Well, what, what was its purpose? Why were you putting it out there? Uh, well, for the, the birds. The birds would come out of the tree and they'll come down and get water, the little doves. Oh, and, yeah, mm -hmm. it was water yeah. for them. And they'd stand <clears throat> back and they'd see me leave the tree and everything with them little doves. They'd just come, you know, have the wobble. Mm -hmm. Wobble down the way, <laughs> and uh, wobble, then I've had wobble. them to come. And oh, one time we had three uh, bluebirds came around this house, and they landed up there with that little fountain there. Hmm. And the animal will just even hold me and find that. Oh yeah, this would be. And if I'd been living here, and this was this time of the year. Oh my. You'd be out here I, I'd be, I'll, planting oh. and pulling up things. Okay, we can, we can start the top, come down, or we can go up. Whatever. Um, whatever is the best. Maybe over here. Yeah. Maybe. That looks like the entrance. So, Grandma built this park a few years ago, and it's beautiful. <laughs> and this is what's left of it. No one's been around to really maintain it, but it's still gorgeous. It has a few little entry points. Still have some, some flowers blooming. <clears throat> some pretty trees. Let's go see the irises. Don't worry about that, Grandma. Look at these irises. Those are peach. I've never seen any of that color. Beautiful. Is it hydrangea? No, it's a... Uh... Mom probably knows. It's gorgeous. This, uh, this is... John, John fixed this up and he put that special gum on it. See, he's got your sweet gum balls. We call them sweet gum balls. Sweet gum balls? You can, you can spray them and, and then you can, just, you can fix them to... Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I, man, I can just 
come out here. And oh, there's some purple irises right there. And it just seemed like it just seemed like it was yesterday. I mean, just you know, this this whole year is going around, and then I and then I see this, and I thought, well, mm -hmm. where did it go? It flies by. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. Well, you know there, there's my thrift, but it's it's called thrift. Mm -hmm. Thrift, yeah, that's what we oh, always yeah. call it here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's thing that, that just needs to be in a burn pile. Yeah, this is a pretty. Yeah. But she, there was another lady. That's that what so she pretty. had. She had a whole big thing. I love and those if you want, if you wanted to buy some, you just go to her house and she would. She, she sells you the bulb. She would take them up. She would, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd take me up. Wow, and, the uh, Irish lady. Yeah, she's she lives between here and and oh oh, watch the watch the watch the poison. Oh, okay. right here, that's poison. All right. And uh, why don't we move on up? Okay. She's showing me around the park, waiting for Dad to get back. This was Grandpa's. Grandpa McClendon's. The big barrel? Yeah, and this here. What did he use it for? Oh, Dad's back. You don't remember what he used it Grandpa, for? Grandpa, he just, mm -hmm. he, he put plants in it around um, out the edge of his garden. If he just wanted, Granny wanted to move it over to the, the vegetable garden and everything, okay? Just mm -hmm. need to have it there. She had all kinds of space. She had all kinds of help. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, Dad's back. I guess he'll have to start going yes, to Macedonia. See, now Ben, see hummingbirds out here. If I could basically see, there's there's the hook. See the yeah, I see the hook for the hummingbird yeah, feeder. Then I'll have, I'll have Yeah, and then my little sister. Okay. And okay, we're gonna go. I'm not gonna put any. I'm not gonna put any at Linda's baby's yeah. grave. Yeah, just the which okay. ones you gonna put flowers at? Okay, Grandma, Grandpa, Steeples, and your baby sister. Baby sister, and then my grandma, your McClenda, grandma, okay. grandma McClendon. Uh, since none of them live, they live all up north now, Philip. Okay. And then we're gonna go over west a little bit, and gonna go to my mother's grandmother okay that's five yeah and then mother's grandmother uh, wow. it's a big t tombstone okay five that's and, uh, five oh, and then she that. had two little brothers you want those two and they and but they would they were separated you know this is sometimes the people all right mom that's five you want for the two little brothers we're on the way to macedonia and around here it's kind of a tradition to put silk flowers on the graves of your loved ones so that's what we're doing today. Mom's going in dinner into Dollar General to get some silk flowers and then we're gonna go visit some relatives and beautify their graves a little bit and pay our respects. And I think I'm gonna see some family I've never met before or I've never seen their graves. So I'm ready to learn about some family history. So who's which of these do you which ones you want on your grandparents? These this is grandma's grandparents. This is my granny Annie's mom and dad. Okay. Yeah, I I just do it right in the middle and then if that's uh uh what's his name?
So this is grandma's baby sister. Look at that. Wow. What do you want? White or yellow for her? Oh. She was only 10 days old. Yeah, I'd make it. I'd make it white. She was born before grandma, but since she was a baby when she died, grandma calls her her baby sister. Yeah. And she, even though she's never met her, but she was the firstborn of the six children and she's the only one who died at in, in infancy and grandma's the only one left she's taking care of everybody now So who are these Sarah, Okay, Sarah Elizabeth Hamilton. Her parents were the ones that were the Indians. Her dad was half Indian and her mom Cherokee. was cool or something like that. Because I've got some pictures Cherokees. of them home okay. in my little journal. Yeah, okay. I'm always, why is that jinx on backwards? They should be turned the other way. I know, it, but now it's well, on Some that, of these are backwards. It's on that slab. This is one of the, uh, maybe these older ones are backwards. Maybe. Not going. Uh oh. See if you can get it closer to the concrete. Like Sorry, Grandma Sarah. The church where Grandma got married, 1957. Show me the ropes. Oh, okay. okay. I'm ready. Bow pass over. Take your things. Oh, uh, first of all, star. Get leaking down. I put some of that slime stuff in. It's supposed to seal it. Mm. You mount up on it, and you uh, put it all the way to the throttle pan, all the way to choke. Choke. Yeah. Right here is your brake and your clip. So you can match it all the way in. You have to match it into uh, change the gears. This is aggravating. I don't know why they put this thing. <laughs> anyway, put it in neutral. And uh, keep your foot down and then you crank it. Once it starts cranking, you probably bring that choke down because the choke just helps put extra gas in there just to crank it. 